Well, unless I'm mistaken, and I could well be, but I think Jones has just managed to uh, get past Glenn Seaton. I think he has a problem. Uh, but it is very tight at the front, as you've alluded to, Murray, with uh, Thomas Mazira desperately trying to come up with a win here for the factory today. Four laps to go across the strike at Sandown. Here are the leaders in the red Commodore, the Winfield car, Mark Skeep. Then, right behind him, is Thomas Mazera, 015. Both in Holden Commodores and Mazera pushing now right up alongside. Is he going to oh. nerve Skeep? Is he going to take the Commodore off? No, he's not. Mark Scaife will have nothing of it, and we're into the last three laps now. It is getting very, very tight. Tap, 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 through this turn and down to the left-hander, past the pits, that's drafting. This is what you call <laughs> slipstreaming, drafting for sure, Mike. And He's Mazira, got it. Mazira will be trying to work his way to the inside here, so he catches Scaife out and keeps him to the outside of the turn. Across the line, three to go. But Mark Scaife knows what the situation is, and he is not going to let Thomas Mazera get his nose inside the red Commodore if he can possibly avoid it. The same thing is happening behind them. The two Peter Jackson cars, the two Ford Falcons, are battling for third position. Right behind them, the fifth and sixth, but it's the battle for the lead at the present moment. So, there is Glenn Seaton, there is Alan Jones in the two Falcons, out of the left-hander, into the straight. This is uh, an immaculate race by Mark Scape, starting from the third row of the grid into the lead. He's held the lead under terrific pressure from the Commodore of Mazera, and uh, it looks as though Thomas is not going to be able to get past Mark in the closing stages. Of here it comes! Oh, oh, oh. No, here oh, it is! Move. Yes, I said it! Yes, absolutely, coming out of the last corner. Who's got the speed for the checker? I think it's going to be Scaife. Crowd standing here in the grandstand as they come across the line, and it'll be Mark Scaife, lost the lead, took it back, takes the checkered flag, clear of Thomas Mazera and Alan Jones over Glenn Seaton, Peter Brock and Jimmy Richards. Well, a good race, Murray. Absolutely superb, and uh, that's going to help uh, Mark Scaife, who puts his hand out of the window with a victory salute. That's going to help him with the championship point.